my friends and welcome to a reading vlog. I polled you guys yesterday, right? Yes, I think yesterday, on what book you want to see me read in a reading vlog. And I am actually super surprised, but the majority of you voted for The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James, which is what I'm going to be reading in this reading vlog. I'm actually really excited for this because I just finished the Sundown Motel like a few days ago and spoiler alert <laughs> I really 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 liked this so I'm very excited to start this one like extremely excited I just didn't think you guys were gonna pick it I'm so shocked I like don't I don't know I guess I just didn't think you were gonna pick this one but yeah I'm gonna start it it is Saturday it is 1 28 p.m. Um, there are guests in this video. You can see part of one. Oh, there he is. <gasps> He's not a ghost, everyone. I'm not dating a ghost, okay? Just, just to set the record straight, because I know some of you think I'm dating a ghost because he's never here. But this is him. Say hello to my wonderful partner, Justin. He is going to be reading with me, kind of. He's going to read with me, but also probably, like, play some kind of game or something. I don't know what he's doing. And we also have another guest, but she's right here and you can't see her and she really wants a treat. So she's not going to cooperate on camera because she hates being on camera. So we're going to read. We're going to hang out. I also have a lot of other things to do today, like take Instagram pictures. So you might see a little behind the scenes. You might see a little sneak peek, maybe, depending on how good they come out or if I get really frustrated and stop taking them because sometimes that happens to me. Also, I'm having a very bad day today. Do you wanna know why? <laughs> this is a side note. This has nothing to do with the vlog. This has nothing to do with anything except for the fact that I'm upset, okay? Um, I bought this book. This is one of my birthday books, okay? Look how beautiful, look how beautiful this is, okay? Okay, look, look at it, look at it. I am devastated. Look at this. Do you see that? It's broken. The spine is broken. I just got this in the mail and it's broken. I'm, I'm just devastated. So yeah, that's like all I have to say, I think. We're gonna listen to some music. You won't be able to listen to that because you know, copyright things, that's fun and all that jazz. So yeah, um, you know, grab a book read read this with me maybe if you have it maybe just watch me read it or read a different book I don't know what you're gonna do do you want to tell the people what you're reading if you wanna we have very different reading tastes um if you'd like to tell them you can you want me to tell them I'm not a talker you know that okay he doesn't want to talk uh this is Cold Burn of Magic a black blade novel by Jennifer Estep this is it right here. He um, likes to read fantasy. Is it urban fantasy? Urban fantasy. I know nothing about fantasy. None of it. I don't know anything about it. I don't read it. So that's what he's going to be reading. And then I'll be reading this. Let me know what you're reading down in the comments. Tell me if you've read this. Tell me if you've read <laughs> Cold Burn of Magic. And they're very different. They're very different. Very different. Very different. Um, Oh, should I give a plot synopsis? Sure. Oh my god, this takes place in Oregon? LOL, I did not know that. Am I dumb? Probably. Um, so this is about a true crime blogger uh, who is going to get, who is going to interview a woman acquitted of two cold case um, murders. So, yeah. And it takes place in Oregon, which is where I live, so sus. So yeah, also I look like a troll. I forgot to mention that, but I look disgusting. Um, I don't want to talk about it, but it's fine. Uh, just don't look at my face. Look at my book or something. Okay, let's read. This is gonna be a very chaotic reading vlog, in case you didn't know. This is like chaos. Woo! This is not gonna be fun. Well, I mean, it's gonna be fun, but it's gonna be like hot mess kind of fun, not like not like cute fun. Do you know what I mean? Do you 
don't even like it. Yeah, but when I can't reach the um, my drinks, then it's the best I can. <laughs> That's the respect. Okay, don't drink at all. <sighs> Okay, friends, it's our first check-in. I am on page 25, chapter 5, and so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think people who love true crime will be super into this, like, from the beginning, because it's very, like, true crime. Obviously, the main character is, like, obsessed with true crime. Um, so I find that to be really fun. Also, I just love when books take place in Oregon because they talk about the rain and it's raining right now, by the way. Um, so aesthetic. Thank you, Weather, for cooperating for my reading vlog. We love to see it. So, so far I'm really enjoying it. I really like Simone St. James's writing. It's something I really, really loved in the Sundown Motel. It's just really easy to, like, read and, like, get sucked in it's just it's not like complicated or overly like you know what I mean it's not like overly like a lot um so so far really really enjoying it um I'm not that far in obviously but so far I really really like it I I like I like the vibe we're getting so can't wait to continue so I started on page 12 because he started it last night and I am currently on page 18. I am a slow reader. Yes. <laughs> well, we, we also we were all like, we this. were also goofing off for like 45 minutes. Yeah, but you still made it to page 18. Yeah, but I'm a fast reader. Like, I just read fast. We get it. You're better than me. That's not what I said, but okay. Thank you for admitting it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Are you enjoying it so far? Yes. That's it? Oh, he is enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought he was going to go on. I thought he was going to be like, yes, the writing, the characters, but he's just like, yes. Well, it's too early for me to tell, oh. um, but the writing, amazing. Um, I've read... You've read others by her. I've read one of her other series. haven't finished it yet, obviously. Um, yeah. Yay! We're both enjoying our books! Yay! Double thumbs up! So now I'm going to uh, take some Insta pics because that's what I do on the weekends. So yeah, um, maybe I'll show you guys some behind the scenes <laughs> if you're lucky. Um, but yeah, so we'll check in later. Bye. Why do I keep throwing up the peace signs? Bye. Okay, I'm literally so embarrassing. Bye.
hello friends so as you can probably tell it is the next day uh it is sunday i believe it's almost two in the afternoon or it is two in the afternoon or something like that and i'm getting ready to film a youtube video i am sitting down at my chair this is my little setup that you guys see every single video <laughs> because this is where I film my videos um but I'm about to film um about women in horror books that I'm excited to read soon and yeah um so I'm gonna update you real quick I didn't get a lot read yesterday we stayed up until four in the morning but we watched movies so yeah I didn't read um I, I don't have an excuse, I just didn't do it. So, um, basically I'm gonna sit down and film this video and then hope that I can finish the like 250 some pages that I have left or something like that. I don't really remember, but it's like 200 and something. And so I'm gonna try to finish that tonight. Ooh, wish me luck. I, I probably can do it. It's just gonna like, I'm gonna have to focus which I didn't have last night. Um, also, it's a time change. We lost an hour and I am so freaking tired right now. Like I wanna fall asleep so bad, but I'm sitting and I'm filming this video like now. So <laughs> I hope it comes out okay because I'm I like, I'm so dead tired. Like I can't even keep my eyes open. Um, but yeah, other than that, there was nothing to report on. Um, I'm just gonna sit here and film and hope for the best and yeah that's all i'm gonna do today is just film this video and then uh finish reading so i don't have too much to do today so hopefully that works out in my favor because otherwise i'm kind of screwed so yeah i will update you when i'm done filming and when i'm about to read so i'll see you in a bit Hello friends, I have finished filming my video for today and now I gotta finish this. I am so freaking tired, my head is pounding, my eyes want to shut like down, like I want to sleep. Um, oh look, we have a guest, a special guest, maybe a special guest, she's mad at me. She's mad because her dad left her here with me, and so she's devastated. Um, don't you love me? I'm sorry. She's so mad at me right now. She's so sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm not the favorite parent. Dang. She's like, give me my dad. I like my dad more than I like you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I love you more than life itself. That's the camera. <laughs> Are you gonna say hi to the peoples? No. She wants a treat too. She's a little, oh, hi babes. I'm sorry. I know, daddy's gonna be back soon though, okay? She's a very distraught right now. I think she wants her dad. She does not want me, apparently. I'm not good enough for her. Um, I'm the, the lackluster parent, I guess. She's just used to my presence because I'm always here with her. So she's like, mm, I want the better half. He went to he went to go get food and to get your pills because you need them. So anyways, we have a guest. She's here. We're going to read. I like I said, I did not read that much yesterday. I know. I know. See, you can see my little bookmark. I'm on page 60, 67. So you know, not awful, but the book is, let's see, how many pages? How many pages? 341. So, I have quite a bit. <laughs> uh, like 280, I think. Yeah, about like 280, 270. Um, I gotta read this, so. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here, and I'm gonna read and um i'm enjoying the book it's not that i'm just so tired i'm just so freaking tired 
So wish me luck um, that I don't fall asleep or get distracted or anything like that. So I'm going to stay here. I'm going to read. I got my bagel, my little bagel bite right here. And yeah, I will update you if anything happens. Okay, hi friends. Um, checking in. It's 8:17. You, I don't know why I tried to show you this because you can't really see it. It's 8:17 p.m. Imagine if it was 8:17 a.m. That's, I wouldn't be awake. But anyways, I'm on page 177, um, chapter 25. So I've actually got a good, decent bit in here. I'm a I would say like I'm halfway now like I'm about halfway so things are heating up things are getting twisty I think I figured something out but I'm not sure because I can't tell if I'm gonna be right or if it's trying to trick me and I'm reading too much into it and so I think I think I'm right but it's trying to tell me I'm right then it's gonna surprise me and then there's gonna be a twist. I hope it's that because I don't really want to be right right now um, because I really am enjoying the book. Also, look at how, why does this look like Christmas colors? I was talking about this yesterday. It's literally Christmas colors. I wanted it to be more like this, like teal, like, what is that? Anyways, I feel like it is, I don't know if I wanna say very similar to the Sundown Motel, but it does have like the same kind of feel, which I like because I really liked the Sundown Motel. Um, I really, really, really like the main character, Shay. I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to hate her, but I actually really, really like her. Um, I think her story is interesting, like her backstory. I think she's an interesting character. And I'm kind of excited to see what like happens with her, like what she's doing, like if she's gonna be successful I, I i think she is but i really like her and i can't tell if i like beth i think i like beth but i also think it'll be it's gonna hinder on if i'm right or not because if i'm right i think i'll like beth and if i'm wrong well i could still like beth i don't really know but i'm iffy about beth right now i do really like her character though i just don't know if i like her her, you know what I mean because I don't really know I haven't sussed her out all the way yet and other than that do I have anything else to say no things are heating up though things are spinning wheels are turning things are happening um, I can't quite figure out what's going on I think I know what's happening but I'm not sure um, so I'm interested to see where we're going also I just realized we're doing laundry you probably can hear it I'm not sure I'll only know when I edit. So, I also think I'm talking louder to try to cover it, so I don't know if that's working or if I sound like I'm screaming. I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep reading because I'm gonna try to finish this, hopefully tonight, or get really close to finishing it tonight, and then finish it tomorrow. But, so far, very much enjoying. Very much enjoy, love, so far like it a lot we'll see i think it'll ride on the ending depending on how much i love it but um so far i'm enjoying it but other than that i have my guest here this is justin i feel like you already know him from the beginning if you don't it's justin this is justin he doesn't like going by justin though i do not he does not like going by justin i call him william which is his middle name so I would have an update on my book, however, 
I'm on whopping page 24. I can't remember. That's what I told everyone last time I left them. I haven't read as much as she has. Yeah. I've been, I've been busy. I've been <laughs> doing shit. He literally watched me record my YouTube video today. He was playing his game. He could have read while I was recording. I thought the rule was we could only read here. No. Well, no one told me that. <laughs> how is that? How? There are no rules to a reading blog. I mean, I guess to read, but you don't have to read on camera. Well, no one told me that. Obviously, he doesn't watch my videos. Obviously, he doesn't watch my reading vlogs. Obviously, he doesn't care about me. So we're just going to chill. We're going to read. We got a pupper right here. That's why my legs are like... I look really awkward. Um, it's because she likes to sit in between my legs, but she sits... She lays horizontally. And so... She spreads my legs really, really wide, and it hurts my hips. And I can't deny her it because she's my baby, and she's so cute, and I love her. So instead, I just suffer, and then um, I have to sit really awkwardly so it doesn't hurt my hips. Anyways, um, that's a fun story. <laughs> Non-spawns. Or am I? Um, JK, I'm not sponsored. Somebody want to sponsor this video? Mountain Dew? I don't like Mountain Dew. Oh. Well, now I'm never getting sponsored by Mountain Dew. I did it, my friends. I finished the book. It is now after 12. I finished it with like five minutes to spare. It was like 11.55 and I look disgusting. My makeup has been on for so long, probably like 12 hours now. Um, I'm sweaty. I'm oily. My hair is a disaster. I'm exhausted. Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so freaking tired. But I finished the book. I finished it. I have so many thoughts and I don't know how I feel about this book right now. I I can't tell where I'm at with it. I I keep trying to compare it to this I keep trying to compare it to the Sundown Motel. And I really, really, really liked the Sundown Motel. So I'm trying to decide if I liked it as much less than the Sundown Motel sundown motel or more i and i don't know i can't i can't really process it so i think i'm gonna have to like sit on it for a bit and like think about it because one i'm just too tired i think and like overwhelmed and like exhausted and it's just like too much for me so i'm gonna have to like sit and think about it and like kind of process like my emotions and like think on it a little bit more because sometimes i have to think on books before i like rate them and like review them and stuff like that so I think I just need to think about this book a little bit more. Um, it was good though. I did enjoy it. I did really like it. I don't think I, like I didn't dislike anything really about it. Like there wasn't too much that I didn't like about the book. So I definitely liked it and I definitely enjoyed reading it and it was a good story. It's very similar to The Sundown Motel. So I feel like if you did like that book, you'll probably like this one, but if you didn't like the Sundown Motel, I feel like you might not like this. It has the same kind of vibe, like solving a mystery, a ghost, th ghostly things happening, um, alternating POVs, that kind of thing. They are very similar to each other. Uh, this one just has to do with like true crime and like a true crime blogger trying to solve, you know, a crime. So, I feel like it's a little bit different in that aspect, but 
it's very, I think it's very similar. It follows like the same kind of vibe as the Sundown Motel, um, which is why I do think I enjoyed it because I really do like uh, Simone St. James's writing. It's very engaging, it's easy to get sucked into, and I do like that her stories have like this like heartwarming, like pulling at the heartstrings kind of vibe. Um, that always works for me. I did tear up a little bit while reading this, so <laughs> not surprising. I'm kind of a little emotional person when I read books. So yeah, I did really enjoy this. I just don't know like in my mind how I want to rate the book. I'm just not sure. I don't know. I think I'm really gonna have to just sit on it and think about it. I don't know. I don't know. And I keep trying to compare it to the Sundown Motel in my head and I just don't know where my brain's at with this. But I liked it. Uh, the ending is good. I actually did enjoy the ending. I, I had like... I have mixed feelings about the ending. Like, I did like it, but I was just kind of like, oh, I don't know, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll be really interested to see what other people think about this book. Um, just because I haven't, I haven't seen too many reviews on it yet. Well, I don't typically read reviews of books that I'm going to read and review just because I don't want to be like swayed by other people. But I do want to read some. I do want to read some reviews on this one and see how people are feeling with it compared to the Sundown Motel. Um, I don't know. I don't know how people are going to feel about this one, but I think a lot of people will like it, especially like the true crime blogger aspect. I feel like that's a very, um, a very good way to go with plots in a story like this. Um, I think the true crime blogger thing kind of grips people and like jumps out a lot because um, I know it does for me. And this is kind of what I would have wanted, um, what's that book called? Um, If I Disappear by, um, is it the, the person that just, uh, that wrote Good Rich People, Eliza Jane Brazier, I believe. Um, it kind of reminds me of what I wanted from that book. Like, this reminds me, this is what I would have preferred the book to be like, but I didn't like that one as much as I like this one, obviously. So, um, yeah, I think... I think a lot of people will honestly enjoy this um, and I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I read it. I think it's a very interesting story. It has a lot of things going on which I think um, a lot of people will enjoy. So yeah, those are my thoughts on <laughs> The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. I know I didn't give you much to go on but um, I don't typically like to tell you too much in these uh, reading vlogs just because I don't want to give anything away to someone who wants to read the book and I don't want to like, I want to be able to let people who haven't read it yet watch the video so I don't want to spoil anything so I keep it pretty vague in these kinds of videos um, but I'll talk more about this book probably in my March wrap up uh, so yeah I guess that's all I have to say on that. I look like a hot mess. I'm feeling like a hot mess. I need to go to sleep. I'm exhausted and <laughs> yeah I have to edit tomorrow <laughs> for Monday's video. <laughs> so I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a, a little bit kind of different reading vlog. We had a little bit of a different vibe going on so I hope you enjoyed. If you did please give me a thumbs up that way I can know if you want more reading vlogs in the future and you know do them if that's what you guys want. Um, and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you subscribe if you haven't already so we can become friends, talk about books, movies, manga, thrillers, horror, spooky stuff, all that jazz. And I hope that you are having a wonderful day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.